Linda from Braceways. How's everybody doing? It's been a while guys. And so I'm back today to show you what my latest art piece is starting to look like. Um, I might go ahead and maybe show off some of my new art pieces. The ones that I did previously, um, I did not make a video for them of course. And I may or may not show them later on, but right now I'm working on these other pieces or I got some done. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what I'm doing right now with one of the art pieces and then I'll bring out the other two that I finished and I still need to varnish everything, but I wanted to show them to you before I varnish them because they show up better on camera unvarnished. So yeah, so how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're enjoying your spring slash pre-summer. I would love to go to the beach guys, but my my beach areas are hours away from where I live, unfortunately. Um, though I did bring it up to my son's attention and he was like, yeah, we need to kind of plan a trip, mom, and this and that. I'm like, yeah, I need to go. I need to go to the ocean. I need to go out there and spread my wings and get some sun and everything. Um, so yeah, but anywho, I hope that everybody's having a wonderful time. I hope everyone is enjoying your little vacays and everything. And if you're busy at home and whatnot, I hope you're still finding time to enjoy doing what you're doing, listen to music, dance a little bit, you know, do whatever it is that you need to do to keep yourself cheerful and happy and vibrant and full of energy. Okay, so this is the art piece, guys, that I started working. It's sort of an abstract, and I'm a lover of trees. So this is what I have so far. So what I did basically is that I just sponged on with paper towels my background. Then I went back and I overlaid it with the, you know, the black and white down here and whatever. And then I scraped paint um, when it was about halfway dry so I wouldn't completely, you know, lose all the stripes. You can still see color in them. And that's just because I didn't do it while it was completely wet. It was already halfway dry. That's the trick. And then I brushed on this um, planet here. And illuminated it and then of course I went in and I drew out or painted in my tree now for my tree oh and down here I also scraped some more so it came out really nice so for my tree because in a previous video I had shown you guys and I think it was among my art supplies that I had bought I bought the pink mirrored glass so this is what I'm going to be using probably on the tree I don't know if I'm just going to outline it or if I am just fully going to do it in glass I thought about that and I still haven't quite come up with my decision yet as to which way which way I want to do it I might either cover it all up where you won't see any any black at all or I will just incorporate some of the glass onto the tree and see how that goes or I might just decide just to do the top branches I don't know I don't know yet so yep yeah, so this is one that I'm working on right now and if this one has taken me already like three days only because I've been on a lazy mode I tend to overwork myself um, to the point where I just you know have to take a break from this little mat have to take a break from you know working non-stop you know uh, because otherwise I'll just get burned you know burned out and it won't work for me Here's another one that I did. I finished it yesterday. It's an abstract kitty cat. <laughs> Can you see it? It's my little rebel kitty. And it's nothing fancy. It's symbolic, so to speak, in a way. And what I did is that I did the background again. I, I First of all, I always paint the backs of my art pieces. And that gets sealed as well with varnish then I um, again sponged my whole entire background was done first with just basically black and what I did was I sponged it and then I went back with paper towels and then I went back in here where you see the rings and if you notice the brush strokes all that was was me using this horrible looking brush and I wanted to leave the stroke marks 
very raw on there. So the paint that I used was this, my Liquitex Black, because it's a very thick paint. It's thicker than my normal black that I get from, you know, the acrylic paints. So you can see the strokes, the stroke marks all over that. And that was intend and that was intended. That, that I thought of. Then I went back in here and then I just slashed through it with my palette knife. Let me see. I basically just took a plastic palette knife, loaded it up, and I made the slash mark. You know, just randomly through there. And then I went back and I touched it up with a little bit of gold. Then while everything was still wet, I went with a paper towel roller and I made the circles just by putting it on there and just turning it, twisting it and made the marks. And then the I streaked everything in the background first. This was before I did the kitty cat. So I streaked everything in the background with the tan and the light blue. And then I went back in here and then I did my kitty cat. Then I ended up painting all of this part right here, all the bottom part, with the hot pink and light pinks and black. Then I did my kitty cat. And then I went back and I put some more over the kitty cat to even it out. Then I took a bottle of spray of um, acrylic paint with some water and I made those white marks that you see that are kind of ghostly on the bottom as well as at the top. And I let it run, made the paints run. So yeah, that's how it was. I'm sorry, somebody's trying to call me. So that's basically what I did here. And so that's how I finished it. And of course, the spray went onto the top parts of the black and everything wherever I sprayed. Of course, it was going to splash out. So that's fine because I got this look. It's kind of a foggy, spotted look. I like that. And that's how I did this one. And you know, cats are cats, and everybody loves cats, so figure why not. And then my other one is this one. It's a fantasy piece. And it's done with metallics, as you can tell. If I had varnished it, you wouldn't be able to really see that. But it's all done with a lot of metallic paints. I mean, I will varnish it, and yes, you will be able to see it somewhat. But I wanted to show it off before I did that. The colors are very pretty. And I wanted to have those particular colors on here. Not particularly the shine, mind you. That's just the way it was. But yep. So what do you think of this one? I think it came out really, really pretty. So that's what I have, you know, for you guys. And I've been doing, I've been busy. And I'm sorry if I haven't come along or come around too much of on, on the Facebook or the Instagram or whatever. It's just that I've been pretty busy and once I get something in my head, guys, I have to tend to it or I lose my, my vibe and then nothing gets done. So please forgive me. But in any case, that's my idea. That's my plans. And so, yeah. And, um, oh, uh, somebody asked me a while back if my artwork was, um, trade, uh, what do you call it? Trademarked or, you know somehow marked or whatever uh, some of my pieces are copyrighted some of them are um, of course you know I put out my artwork as is and whatever um, technically whenever you do something it's like with your writing when you write it and you have proof of that piece same thing with art if somebody tries to steal it they can actually get in really bad trouble for that I mean, they can probably even do jail time because if, you know, somebody saw it somewhere and, or you found out about it or something like that, yeah, I mean, that person could be in really deep trouble because it's either you're going to have the piece still or you have pictures of it or you have put it into something somewhere to show it off and it gets like, you know, somebody makes a copy of it and they start making prints of it or do something with it then yeah, I mean, they can get in trouble for that. And I hope that nobody is dumb enough to do that because that's just, 
this is really dumb. But everybody's art is sacred. So you should respect everybody's art. I mean, I don't go around trying to steal anybody's ideas or, you know, pieces for that matter because of that. Because I respect the hard work that goes into doing an art piece. And for those of you that really know how to paint and really are doing that, you know how much work goes into it. You know how much of yourself goes into it as well. So of course you're not going to.